scout is my main, as hopefully you have been paying attention throughout my different recordings and streamings of Ghost War so far. Now, I have my complaints about the uh, scout, and my main complaint being just one, really. And that is, I feel his submachine gun is insufficient. A scout should be the best at close range. I should be able to win pretty much any engagement at close range. Now, I don't care for the fact that it's inaccurate and low damage on long range. It is as it should be. Same on medium range. I shouldn't be good at those distances. But if I'm very close, the submachine gun should be the weapon of choice. And that's not always the case, especially the multi-class G28 seems sometimes to be the far better option. The drone is airborne. And the problem with that is I am a HK fan, meaning I do want to use the G28. Sadly, the scout doesn't now. get the G28. So I'll have to make do with the MP7. The MP7 is my primary submachine gun in the single player game as well, so I'm fairly confident. Even if it's not Drone is airborne. equipped to what I'm used to. Now this map is kind of tricky because unlike uh, unlike most of the other maps, it is majority forest on this map. Meaning, uh, especially snipers with favorite ghillie suits I'm are going a mine right to here. be... I'm planting uh, a mine here. Yeah. So the best option we can do about that is quickly move between covers and hopefully stay down a bit too. Now you will notice that at least two of the people on my team has chosen the multi-class and I think the G28 is I'm placing a mine right that. here. Yeah, we got one in the building. One in the building, one outside the building. This is basically the scout's main role. The scout's main role is to report enemy movements. Sniper inside the building, point man outside building. So we're gonna slowly etch our way to there. And see what we can do to help. Help being shoot. Oh! I never actually seen a team kill before. Did they detonate some kind of mine or... Yeah, I think that they must have detonated a mine close to a teammate. I mean, I, like I said, aside from shooting the red barrels, and that does never credit the kill. Hostiles are going loud. I'm placing a mine right here. Well, at least they could pick him up, so... Got one on the roof. He's all yours. Take him out. He's jumping down on the backside. Recon tower is back online. You got him. Good down. shooting. Since we got the upper hand in numbers, I'm gonna try and man advance down, man here. Down. I'm gonna grab the flashbang and see if they're still in the building. The best way to see if they're in the building and tango down. Target down. Sweet. Now we'll pick Look up our own mates. And then we'll do it all over again. Jesus, is there anything on this guy that's not covered by camo? Oh well, maybe it works. But if it worked, he wouldn't have been killed. Oh crap. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Tango's in the building. I don't know who got him, but hey, maybe he just disconnected, I don't know. Ended up well for us at any rate. Okay, so with two disconnects, we are now waiting for more players. This could be... I like the openness of the fact that you actually see how many players are waiting to join the match and everything like that, but... 
There is a part of me that finds this a bit tedious since other players may be thrown into a match that's already in the last game and they can't really affect the outcome either way. Uh, I would also like dedicated servers while we're on the subject, but hey. I hope Ubisoft learned that thing from For Honor. Now, as I recall, the notification said that Athen fan is connected, but it's still on the list. Uh, yeah, now it disappeared from the list. Good. All right, so we seem good to go, and we are indeed good to go. Yeah, we're here to play the scout, so let's just play the scout. I mean, let other people play the sniper. So, the level 1 on the enemy team got replaced with a level 11. So, the entire speech I made about balance now turns hilariously against me. But, I'm not going to complain about lack of balance, because that's just one more challenge for us. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Now, on this side, things are a bit more interesting, meaning that we have an easier way to the buildings, but the enemy starts in the forest. Now, it's tempting to use the building as a firebase towards the forest, but as we just demonstrated last round, that doesn't always work as we want it to. Target is down. Okay, so our Mortar Man got one, and there's the Sniper. Sniper is moving up for pickup of the down guy. At least they tuned out the Mortar Man, really. The Mortar Man had out. the potential to be very annoying. But I'm actually pretty happy that they made him a suppressor and someone who actually forces movement rather than kill. Meaning that mortar man kills are more far and in between. And if you do it in the opening volley like he did, it means that, yeah, we got him. Sniper spotted. Let's take a closer look at that guy. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. Hello. Be soon. No, don't shoot me, don't shoot me! No, you can't shoot me. My battery's running out. He actually did not shoot me, but he sure as hell knows he's been compromised. However, that means we can slowly and surely move him towards the gap. Oh god, our bodies are getting flanked. Meaning we have to use all due haste to get there. Also, they picked up their fallen comrade. Yo, the mine. I think there's someone around me. I don't know if that's my... Yeah, he's still up there somewhere. Yeah, he got him. I was going to sneak up on the guy, and then this guy shows up and just... Entry team, high ground reports additional suspects are now on scene. Okay, so somebody hosted my stream. At least if I know my alerts correctly, that is the alert I get when I get hosted. So, this is... Oh, wait. Tango down. down. So let's just make sure to keep an eye on him, so no one else shows up to crash the party. Looks 
Let Let's me place see mine over what here. we got here. Yeah, we got him. Somewhere around here. Recovering data. Cover me. Might as well advance. I'm not sure someone will pick it up. So help out our mates. Oh God, they're, the they're behind me. Entry team. Additional operators have just arrived. Oh God. One hostile remaining. Let's get this done. At least we got some good cover from our mates. So let's just move up and see what that guy can offer us in terms of targets. I mean, I just stream for my own amusement, so I wonder who the hell hosts me and decides to follow me at the same time, but it's appreciated. Now, we're not switching to the pistol. The pistol has about the same strength as a BB gun. Yeah, that's our mate. The problem with using surround headphones is usually that teammates, if you don't know that... <laughs> oh, that's just jinxing it. That's just jinxing it on my part. I was so fucking sure it was a teammate behind me, I never actually thought to check it. But fortunately, neither did he. Okay, so... Victory 2-0 for us. And the guys hosting me are Ubisoft. Well, that's one way of getting a lot of pressure upon my playing from now on. <sighs> so, next game. Let's just stick with the scout. Stick with what I know. Oh, and our little level 1 has turned into a level 2. How adorable. And we're still facing a team of pretty much only level 11s. Uh, now, I want to talk about my loadout for a minute here. When you are the support class, you want to use quick hands. Uh, the athletic sprinter, not really worth it. Trainee, well, if you're level 11, you don't need XP. Quick hands re reduces the revive time. And since I, artillery doesn't often pick that skill. And most people stick with the DMRs and snipers, since the snipers and DMRs are the powerful rifles, people are used to sniping in Ghost Recon Wildlands. But that means that until the medic class is properly introduced, the scout has to fill that role. So my role is intelligence and revival. It's not really hunting down the enemy. But I like sneaking around the bush and... Enemy drone overhead. Finding the enemy. Uh, I just don't like when the enemy sneaks loud. up behind me, like last round. So we are just gonna stay Point here, drone. and since this is a more of an open space, uh, our drone is going to be far more useful in position now. enemy in the tree line, enforcer and artillery. Now the callouts aren't really necessary since Hostiles people see on their screens where they are and what classes they are but it's a habit from Rainbow Six Siege and I feel like keeping it especially since that kind of information can be useful so we're shifting right here on this map since sometimes snipers and other unwanted people really likes to be up here among the timber. Tango is fucking down. All right, so we are gonna launch our second run of the game. See if we can. Yeah, the sniper's already tagged, but I wanna see if. Yeah, we got the point man hanging around there. That just leaves the third guy. I wonder if the third guy has already reached the timber. The thing is, we don't want anyone to flank us. Oh wait. Ah, uh, never mind, this was bird. Yeah, there's the bird guy. The bird guy is moving up the left flank. I say again, he's moving up the left flank. There's an odd to even chance they haven't actually noticed him sneaking up there, so... As a scout, it's my job. 
placing a mine right here. So... Right now I don't expect us to have that much to do. We'll just sneak up, see if they're still that keen on staying in the center tree line. Hopefully they are, because that means we get more to do, but if they have any brains, they will have started moving up the left or right flank. And if they're moving up the right flank, I really should be slowing down, because this is not a game where you should be Target rushing down. unless you're confident you can pull it off. Now, if I'm talking to you, I'm not confident I can pull it off. But then again, that's why we have this little drone. Taking fire. Yeah, I think they just moved up pretty heavily up the left flank. That's bad news for us. In fact, I think most of them have moved up there. Because the sniper is not offering them any fire support. And if the sniper is not offering them fire support, the sniper has moved. Meaning we are heading into no man's land. As in, no fucking people here. I don't know if I heard myself or if it was someone else, but yeah. Our down guy is about 400 meters away, which makes it. Heads up. We've got yeah, I got him. A mine here. That's Trying to shoot Let's that guy down. would have been an exercise in falling. But we can tag the other guy. Oh wait, he wasn't on our side of it. Going for the recon tower. I can do what I can, and since I'm close to the recon tower, that is... Oh, El Spartan seems to be closer, and that's not good. It's that really faster if I do it, but I don't really care at the moment. We just need to watch out. So I'm gonna jump over here and see if I can revive our mates. Oh, he's heading in this direction. We're picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active. Can't go down. That could have gone worse. A lot worse, in fact. So we're sticking with what, with the scout. Uh, not gonna change the MPX because I don't like the MPX. It's not as stable as a gun should be. The MP7 is far more reasonable in that regard. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Okay, so we're gonna do as we do every game. Either flank left or flank right. Now, since our tank and sniper is flanking in one direction, what we really ought to do is flank the other direction. Uh, but at the same time, I really should airborne. stick close to them so I can revive if necessary. And if Drone some... is airborne. We are gonna have a compromise here. First, we'll find the enemy, and that means not getting out of our drone range too quickly. Enemy drone overhead. Hostiles are going loud. Top of the hill, deforestation, sniper. Scout, bottom of the hill. 
Now, I could be trying to sneak up on them, but they're 400 meters away. Meaning that they're most the likely dislocated once we're there. So, my suggestion to myself is simply wait for them either to come in this direction or be ready to support my mates. Marking position now. My mates, at least one of the snipers is already moving in this direction. So, I'll think we'll slow down. Yeah, Imhort got one of them, so he's he's most likely going Picking to be revealed soon. We'll They'll see if that soon. scout comes a bit closer. The enemy scout doesn't seem all that confident in how one uses the scouting drone, so... I'm just gonna let him play with it. Because right now he ain't seen shit with it. That's good for us. So we're moving to cover, straight ahead, 5 meters. Down. And we'll drone him again. Playing the scout is basically always knowing where the hell the enemy is. Yeah, we got the snipe, we got the snipe and a B-28 shooter. As well as someone at the bottom of the hill. So we'll need to scout, uh, flank right more. A lot. We want to come up behind them. If we come up beside them, there's a chance one of their mates might actually Recon spot. Tower is back online. Where the hell yeah. are you going? Get back to your team. Apparently I couldn't go that far out of the mission area. I kind of hoped I could, but... Oh, he's man down, he's man down. down. Now we're gonna see if they can actually be lured that they are, that there are more than one in the area, or is they think? That. Yeah, we want to get the sniper first. From the recon tower. It'll be active soon. Yeah, I got him. Heavy fire here. Frag, fuck the thing. Okay, how the fuck did my grenade not kill the guy? Okay. Shit, man down. Explosive. Break contact, break contact, break contact. I don't know if he threw a mine or what happened, but... Oh, crap, they threw mines. And we, of course, ran straight into them. Now, I have absolutely no idea what the hell happened there. I should have gotten the sniper at least, but I didn't. So, I think that round is wasted. Yeah, we'll see if our dear 511 operator actually can get out of this. It's kind of fun. I have one of those caps at home. And if you can decide for yourself if it was Ghost Recon who got me to get one of those caps, or if I had it before Ghost Recon. I think it's pretty much at the same time. I was building my... Uh, Ghost Recon Operator Holt cosplay, the one you can see down in the corner. And I got a bunch of caps free with the backpack, so... So... 1-1, one, one, and... I have to say, the level 2 guy is shipping up rather well. I wouldn't trade him for a level 11, at least not at this time. 
but I'm considering playing another class than Scout, since so far Scout has not served us all that well. We could go with the multi-class, of course. We could also go with Heavy Artillery, Enforce, Appoint, Man, Sank. Uh, I think we're gonna go Artillery, since they have shown, uh... They have been predictable. They usually open up the round by staying put and sniping. And since they seem to think that is a good idea, we should punish them for it. Especially since they also seem very... Oh, apparently Spartan might actually also be a scout main, since he Hunt picked scout now. Uh, we're not going to reveal our little game so early, but at least now we're all sticking together. That's a good thing. The drone is deployed. Entry team. Additional operators have just arrived. Sweet, and I was followed. Now, the alerts you hear are new. I basically just started the stream to test them out, so fire support on the way. At least one enemy is on down on the left flank. Sorry, right flank. The fact that you shift all the time means that you sometimes get stuck in your vocabulary, hence the miscommunication on the left and right flank. But uh, we got at least one enemy here. Got yeah. Our level 2 operator there got the, the guy. The Cover me. I'll get Spartan. Quit complaining. So we're gonna get him up with our fancy Making little skill. The and then we'll take the boat. Motor Rome's still on cooldown, so we can't call in more fire support. But the fact that he pretty much rushed us to this position has the little fancy effect of that enemy picking him up is hopefully going to be more tricky. So, we're setting up our drone. Yeah, there they are. Stationary as a fuck. And with a lot of red barrels around him, he's relocating into the house. But hopefully, if the barrels go off, so will he. Or rather, he'll just die. Then go down. At least we got one of them, but the other guy I didn't really count on. I didn't count on them there being two there. And Spartan also bought it, so... But hopefully our awesome recruit here can save us once again. And he could! That guy is pretty good at this shit. Thank you. It's kind of hilarious that <laughs> while I so identify a bit with Holt, thanks to the cosplay, this guy is named Hort, and he played better than me this round. Yeah, Hort got four kills, I just got two, so he played better than me. I got more score, but I think that's simply because I spotted more, so... Ghost Recon sends me their good luck vibes on Twitter, so apparently something must have worked alright. Ah, our poor recruit left, but I can't really blame him since he risen to level 2 in our care. He can now buy a 
class and hopefully discovers the character customization. Now, I have to say, I was worried before launching the beta that there wouldn't be any character smith for... Oh, apparently the C1 does more damage, so let's go with the Canadian weapon. It's really a British weapon, the Sterling, but let's just go with the Canadian because of Frost in Rainbow Six Siege. Besides, I know far more agreeable Canadians than I do. Oh, now we're at this again. Uh, level, uh, level 11, level 10, level 11, level 1. If you are just tuning in now, then we had a perfectly balanced game with three level 1s, uh, three level 11s, and one level 1 per team. That was actually kind of neat. Especially since that game was very balanced as well. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. So right now I have done something that really goes against my better nature. I picked this weapon because of its higher damage towards the MP5. Now, what does the 9mm Sterling and 9mm MP5 have in common? I'll let you figure it out in the chat. And of course our wonderful people ran straight ahead and got themselves killed in the first thing that happened. I'll revive spotted. Up. We got enemy and up. then he disconnected. Get your ass up. That's not really what I like to see. Also, this is the third time me healing spotted, and I, and I recognize him not because of the name, but because he's the guy with the odd Russian camo all over his clothes. So, since the enemy seems keen on staying in their assigned position and just sniping, Shit. we Stand are gonna down. send them a small gift. Now where did he die? I'm not sure I wanna go and bother with them right this moment, but this round started horribly. So much for the ghost streak on Twitter, good luck vibes. Heads up, we got enemy activity. So let's just take cover, sneak up on the enemy. I mean, if my team decides to stand in the open and get shot by snipers. Me reviving them is not going to be much of a viable option. So we got spotted in about 50 meters behind us. That means if we hear anyone really sneaking up on us, it might be the enemy. I mean, it was the last time, so why should this Enter team. be enemy? Additional operators have just arrived. Sweet, more operators. Soon we'll have an entire Rainbow Six team based on the people who started to follow me just based on this stream. Also, it's kind of fun because I set the stream up for the sole reason to test those alerts in the first place and it's I'm, I'm happy to see they are working well so far. Enemy drone airborne. So we are gonna go even sneakier if we can and are allowed to. Oh enemy crap. Watch it. Recon tower I don't on. want the enemy at the recon tower at the moment. In fact I want them as far as far away from the recon tower as well. The recon tower is the bane of my sneaking. Now people are complaining about the drones in the feedback forums and I'm not going to say someone is wrong simply based on my opinion, but my opinion is that drones are easy that to avoid. <laughs> Snipers however are not all that easy to avoid. <laughs> At any rate, uh, as long as you hit the deck once the drone appears about a hundred meters away from you, you can either shoot it and give yourself away, or you could just shut up and hope they will pass on to someone else. And usually if you just dive to the deck, there is a high ch chance they will actually just leave you alone.
So we'll see if Spartan, the guy who I keep reviving, can turn this game around. I suppose this is where the chat should say clutch or kick, but I'm not really that kind of guy. I have to say that I really like the fact that you have picked the Spartan patches for a game where he calls himself the Spartan. I mean, how more feeling can you get? I also approve of his strategy to just wait. Just wait and see. Oh, come on, you had the guy. Well played. Now let's see how much farther he can get. Nice try, mate. Nice try. That was a seriously good try. Now sadly I have this thing called work, uh, or not sadly, I like my job, but that means there's just going to be one more game for today. So we're gonna play this match, and just because I can, we're gonna play the sniper this round. I mean, I've been playing scout or artillery for most of the game so far, so let's just do something different and pick ourselves with the sniper. Now what I like about the sniper is that for once the excessive bullet drop of Ghost Recon Wildlands actually makes it a bit tricky to be a good sniper. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Our job now is going to be stay low and hopefully not die. The not die part is a bit trickier as a sniper since you are pretty much expected to keep up the fire, both to suppress and take down the enemy. Now, I don't actually see any enemy, so, so far staying alive works rather well for us. We're gonna shift a bit, and see if one of the enemy might be tempted to move into the open. Drone is out. The problem is, if we don't see them in the center at the beginning, they are flanking, and if they are flanking, that's bad news for me. Because that means I may have to be a more active sniper. But then again, I can't see them on the flying sniper, so... Heads up, with the enemy drone airborne. I got him. Contact. Now, our job now is to get the hell out of Dodge before they dial in our position. As they just did. Man down, man down. So they got our mate with the mortar. And they... there he is. At least I think I saw him. Yeah. Heads up. 
heads up. We got enemy activity. We need They've to move. Marked. Taking a lot of fire over here. Yeah, moving was the right call to make. Uh, we are gonna try and revive our mate, but I think he might actually be covered by whatever sniper was present. I don't know if the entire team decided to flank. I kind of hope they did, because if they do, that's a much more interesting game. I'll fix you. They cover us. Of course, they can't realistically cover us, since we are on the top of a hill. And... We've got enemy activity. Like in position now. Yeah, it's they're flanking. Recon tower is back online. Let's see if we can get them. It's kind of interesting. The game where I really want to have played the, the scout is the game where I picked the sniper. Alright, at least we rid them of the fire support. But they got, they got me marked. That means get out of here. I had kind of hoped we would be able to score a drone before they called in their fire support. But at least we could make their fire support in a Effective. So down on the ground, see if they spotted us. If there are any, got any brains to in that area. However, since, yeah, they are in that area. Now we should be moving closer to the wall, so we are less visible. Position oh crap, this is not good. They are out of our reach to, re to pick up, and obviously the enemy is pretty good at reviving their own. And now one of the people we should have revived Take it easy. decided to... Oh, thank god he got him. Now I should keep an eye on the recon tower, meanwhile. Since... Enemy drone overhead. Alright, we got the drone. Hopefully th this will draw fire to us, since if they are... Yeah. I, when I said draw fire, I didn't mean actually get hit by the fire. I had hoped on a solution where I would draw the enemy fire and not die by it. But apparently that is beyond our ability at the moment. So, due to work, this is going to be my last game of the beta. The beta ends tomorrow, meaning I will not have any more chance to play it, but I've reached level 11, I've unlocked all the classes and all of the adjacent stuff, so I feel I got the hang of it, and hopefully I can get away at work tomorrow to write some more feedback, but I have to say, at the moment, my primary feedback is still about the scout's submachine gun should do more damage at close range. I have a, uh, I would also like an option where, for example, uh, Big Dogs Germany. To your right, to your left, Germany. To your left, to your left, to your left. Straight ahead. Nice. Uh, where if you can have a red dot sight without magnification, you should be able to pick any of them. You shouldn't be restricted to the site that has just been chosen, but it should be a bit... As long as the stats remain the same, you should be able to just pick and choose. Uh, for the MP7 in particular, I would also like to be just able to extend the stock since I handle the MP7 and you, I have never seen anyone fire it without the extended stock. Never. It actually seems like we might actually get a pickup here as well, and that would be really nice. Especially since the clock is ticking, we have about... That is my super charge. Oh, they actually mined my body. However, thanks... Oh, and they got Spartan with a mine. That's not good. So I wonder how he's going to try and handle this. Um, because... This could be really 
Frankie. Entry team. Additional operators have just arrived. And I just realized there's a, there is not really a spelling error, but it says operators when it should say operator. But I can fix that after this. Forty-five seconds until it's a draw, and no, none of us win. That would actually be a quite a neat ending to this, since it would just infuriate the enemy team to no end. I mean, they've already won one round, and it would be nice if they didn't win this round as well. Oh god. Below you! Enemy drone spotted. Oh, come on! He got that guy! It was. It couldn't have been more obvious that he got the guy, but never mind that. It was nice. So, this is the last game of the beta for me. And I have to give out a shout out to Ubisoft. Thanks for hosting me for the duration. This was quite an experience, really, because... The open beta so far has been interesting. And... Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure we're not ending up in another match, so... The beta so far has been interesting. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege is my game of choice, and this beta and Ghost War is not going to change that. However, I like the fact that they obviously took some pointers from Rainbow Six Siege being not afraid to use a operator-based system, for example, where weapons are restricted. I mean, there is a lot of games right now who dis basically think that, hey, we need to have tons of weapons available to the operator. And in part, uh, Rainbow Six, uh, sorry, R uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands fell a bit into that trap in the single player mode. I don't mind that because the single player mode should, by all rights, have many weapons. But... It's a brave decision to make sure it doesn't go over into the multiplayer and instead do a system like this because if you have a ton of weapons in the multiplayer part of the game, there is arguably going to be a combination that is seen as better. Uh, in Battlefield there was basic, a few assault rifles where basically none of them were used because they weren't seen as good enough. And by restricting weapons you also are given the option to restrict and enhance different abilities. And I think that is going to be what sets Ghost War apart from other third-person shooters. I mean... Yeah, I'm not really sure what I mean by that, really. But I think Ghost War could hold my attention. The main question is really going to be... What kind of game modes are we talking about? I mean, it's no use having this 4 versus 4 game mode if they are going to have a team deathmatch mode where there are infinite respawns or something silly like that. I don't think this game mode could work at all with that. So, now that you've seen pretty much all, everything I've equipped my different operators with, well, it's time to say goodnight. I need, still need to get off to work tomorrow. So thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have been entertained.